Hello minions, Retro Rain here again, and we're back for another episode of Minecraft. Um, as you can see on the map behind me, I've done a bit of uh, filling in on the map since last time. Uh, found quite a bit of uh, red clay and whatnot up north. Um, I like that area, I think I might have to build a base up there at some point. Um, I've filled in a lot of that uh, green forested area off to the east there. Uh, there's a lot of really dense forest over there that is a pain to get through with a horse. Um, I really do not like traveling through there, so at some point I will probably either uh, build a rail line or I'll do uh, do a nether portal up there just so I can get up there easily, because that's where the jungle is up in the northeast corner there. So uh, we'll have to do that. I did get to a point where um, the game was actually crashing every time I went past a certain point. It was within about, you know, 10 or 15 seconds of the spot where I was saved. And luckily Optifine, I'm assuming, saved me, quick saved me in a certain spot. So uh, that's the nice thing about that. I always seem to be quick saved reasonably near any point where I crash. So, But I was consistently crashing within 10 or 15 seconds of moving from a specific spot, so I was getting a little bit frustrated, but... Uh, Luckily, Java popped up with an update and said, oh, by the way, you know, update, do this. So I did, and crashes are all miraculously gone. So uh, I'm kind of happy about that. I was able to uh, finish looking around up there, grab some more uh, saplings from the jungle trees, and uh, make my way back. I had to uh, get some more saplings because the jungle trees here just started stubbornly refusing to give me saplings of any kind. So uh, I've put a couple more... Uh, down there, as you can see in the background, and uh, I now have a good supply of jungle wood. Though, to be honest, there's a fair bit of, bit of it in that uh, chest behind me there under the city map, so it's not like it's something I really had to worry about, but, uh, you know, it's nice to have around. Oops, that was wrong. There we go. So, today, I think we're going to go to the uh, lair over here, and I think we're going to uh, build an inventory room because uh, it's getting kind of cramped over there and uh, I need somewhere to start storing all this stuff and once I have a place to store everything I can actually start uh, going out and uh, finding more dungeons and things and uh, bringing more loot back so uh, I also want to get this uh, wall on the staircase uh, roughed in a bit I mean I don't plan to do anything really detailed or extensive here it's just a staircase you don't really stop on the staircase and critique the walls. I just want to fill it in with some kind of stone that looks somewhat finished. Probably the white stone. But uh, that can wait till later. It's just a small job to do. So uh, still haven't done anything else in here. I'm kind of leaving that until I need to build more rooms off of it. But uh, and I haven't uh, figured out how I want to improve this room. It still needs something. I just haven't stopped to think about what yet. And I still haven't touched these windows, so I was going to do something to those, because they, they do look like they need something. I'm just not sure what. Oh, are you still out there? Weren't you out there last time when we stopped playing? Yeah, I see you. What are you going to do about it? Okay. Ooh, daylight? Ooh. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to put the stairway into the inventory room right about here. And then the inventory will, room will just be directly below the main hall here. Um, I think we're going to have to move the staircase back from the wall a little bit because we're going to need a couple extra blocks uh, in height just because uh, the floor in here, obviously we've got the glass and then we've got the lava underneath it. And we're going to need another block underneath that. I don't really want to be digging down there and suddenly get a face full of lava as I uh, get rid of the wrong blocks. So I think we're going to have to... Uh, Pull back a little bit with the stairway, put it right about here, and hopefully that'll give us the room we need. And then uh, there will eventually be a room across the way there, and the staircase will be over there as well, so to be able to access the inventory room from either side. And I think I'm going to make it probably two stories tall, and uh, maybe build a little bit of extra space into it just to kind of future-proof it, just so we have... Uh, room to expand the inventory down there in case we need to. So uh, anyway, that's the plan for today. 
So I think I will... Oh, good, now nighttime is falling. I will go grab some uh, resources and uh, get to work on this, and I will see you in a minute. Alright. Oh, look. There is a slime down there. I'm not sure if I... Uh, I've run into too many of those yet. I don't have any way to get down there, do I? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I would like to have the slime, but I really don't see a way to get to him and get back out again. So, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Oh, look, burning bat. You idiot. Interesting how they seem to enjoy flying straight into the lava and lighting themselves on fire. Anyway, back to construction. Okay, so, yeah, stairway gonna go right about here, I think. Okay, uh, this looks like a good spot for some dynamite. You knew I was going to do that, right? Just checking.
Okay, that hole may be slightly deeper than I intended to make it, but uh, it's all right. We can fill that in. I got tons of cobblestone around. Um, I've actually blown up some of the walkway too, but I got tons of wood to replace that. So now that the idiocy portion of today's video is out of the way, let's get back to work.
Okay, so we have the upper level roughed in. Um, we've got a pair of chests in each of those alcoves. Uh, we've got room to put more above them if we run out of room later on. We've got lava worked in to help light things up and to uh, go with the uh, theme we've been using so far. So uh, I like that. The wood contrasts nicely with the uh, pillars there. and. Uh, there is more room over here, but I think I'm going to save that for something else. I have an idea for something later on. I'll get to it at some point. But, uh, yeah, that's not bad. I guess, uh, back to work. Okay, so uh, you've got the uh, inventory area in kind of a finished state. Um, looks pretty good. Um, I'll probably put uh, items separated along the top row here. Put the blocks down the bottom. So I'll I'll move all the inventory in a minute off camera. But uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, you can see I got a bit of a start on a ceiling and then gave up on it. Um, not finishing my ceiling is becoming a bit of a bad habit in this video series, so uh, <laughs> I will probably just uh, end up doing them all in one go at some point down the line. But uh, for now, it can wait. Um, I, there is one issue I ran into um, a little earlier. While I was finishing up this corner over here, I turned around and... Oh, look, there we go. That would be the problem right there. Fire. Okay. <laughs> There is, as far as I can tell, nowhere where this fire should be escaping. Ow. Neon fire. Ow. Water. Water. Okay. Um, so, my suspicion is that it is actually creeping out somehow between the solid blocks there. Which would really be a shame, because that means this entire place could go up with one spark. And, uh, damn it, go. Stop that. Okay. So, uh, that would mean I'm going to have to replace every wood panel in this room. Uh, I don't really want to do that because I do like the way it looks. But, uh, it looks to me like the lava is just glitching through, like, diagonally through these solid blocks here and lighting the wood on fire, so I don't see any way around that right now except to replace all the wood. That really sucks. And yeah, there's no gaps here or anything where it can sneak through, so... Alright, I guess we're going back to the drawing board. Hopefully the flooring's okay. I don't want to replace that too, but... Uh, Alright. I guess I'd better figure out what I want to put in here. Back to you in a minute. Okay, so 
I think I've settled on nether brick from the back walls here. Uh, if there's anything that's going to be heat resistant, I would think it would be nether brick. And uh, it's in a similar color style, so uh, it's got a nice contrast with the uh, pillars here. So I think that'll work nicely. I just have to uh, get enough of it. I don't think I have enough to uh, finish the whole area, but um, we will see. I will uh, make a trip to the nether if I have to. It's not like the stuff is hard to find over there. So uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, we got a bunch of creepers here. Okay, get away. Go back. Get away. No, oh, it's not gonna end well. Damn it. You broke my chest. And I got stuff all over the place. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, and you've just come to rub it in too, haven't you, you bastard? Okay, that's you out of the way. I got better things to do than be cleaning up my stuff off the floor. Jeez. Okay, um, I've been standing there for a while now, and uh, nothing seems to have burst into flames that I've noticed, so I think we may be past the problem now. I don't want to say that too loudly, because I might jinx us here and suddenly have the whole place burst into flames again. Um, you can see I put some uh, cobblestone uh, fence right here in this spot. That seems to be the one square where things ignite. I've seen the stone slab actually just burst into flame for no reason, so I'm thinking that one square may be the whole problem. Because if you look through the window there, you'll notice that that's right next to where that vertical strip of lava is coming down. So it may just be glitching through there and lighting that one spot on fire just to mess with us. Um, so, yeah, we've made a few small changes here. There's stone slabs around all the uh, edges just to... Uh, keep the wood as, as far away from the lava as we can get it, so I think we're okay now. I like the way the, uh, the nether brook looks in the alcoves there. Um, I've 
started roughing out some of the inventory there with various block types. The uh, items on the upper floor I'll get to at some point, probably in between uh, episodes. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of pleased with how it's turned out. And uh, I guess that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. Uh, I can't seem to walk backwards very well, can I? All right. And I do like the way it looks right through there. You get a neat uh, split level effect there. Looks good. Makes it look nice and three-dimensional, which always makes things stand out in Minecraft. So uh, there we go. Uh, we didn't get a chance to get to the uh, walls on the staircase, but uh, maybe we'll get to that next time, or maybe we'll just have fun next time and go explore some stuff just for a change of pace. I don't know. But um, that'll be it for this episode then, I guess. And... Um, I will see you next time, I suppose.